Hello everyone, and welcome back to uh, Let's Play Rebby Ribby. This will probably be the last video I'll make for a while, because uh, at this point I think I've pretty much done everything I want to do in the game for now. But before I do, let's uh, cap off this, uh, this video with uh, a few side things I didn't get a chance to point out in the, in the last video. So, first things first. We need to, uh... Oh, whoops. Wrong button! <laughs> we need to get to a teleport. Ah, uh, it feels so long since I walked through this place. So many good memories. Where are we gonna warp to? Well, we need to go to Rabby Rabby Park. Specifically, I need to go down here, and this girl here. After you beat uh, Iris, when you talk to her, so yeah, that's basically uh, a. <laughs> New Game Plus. And no, not right now. But yeah, if you really want to uh, start a New Game Plus, there is the option for that. Also... Oh, that's not the right window. That, uh, that one badge in the lower right corner... That's actually for Arena's Halloween costume, which I have not picked up yet from the Halloween zone. If you want to go to it, you have to go to the, uh... Yeah, you have to go to the Western Coast area, or the, rather the Flying Graveyard. And, uh, go through the, uh, Halloween segment. Which is, of course, full of, uh... Full of, uh, traps and platforming and whatnot. I'll probably do it do it in a separate video in the future, but not right now. Right now, I am... I just want to put a stopping point on this game for now. Though this unfortunately means I am still missing a few Easter eggs, and I still have to collect them all if I technically want to get 100%. On that note... Where is it? Yeah. If you remember that one hidden room in the, uh, in the exotic laboratory that said 2.0, then, uh, I'm guessing they're going to be adding another secret area to that in the future. Not sure when, but when, it does, when they do, I will definitely cover it. Well, with all that said and done, let's go back to the title screen. Alright, so, how about these boss rushes? Well, let's pick our, our file first. So yeah, I took a look ahead. True boss rush is actually just just the first two boss rushes put together. You fight the normal bosses, then you fight the final bosses, and that's about it. The question mark boss rush allows you to fight uh, KK Bunny and all the SP bosses, which I'm not gonna do because after because fighting just one SP boss was enough. Holy cow! I'm not gonna do all all three of them back to back like that. That's a little bit too much, in my opinion. Huh. Sorry about that, there was something in my mouth. But, uh, yeah, you fight all those bosses back to back, but interestingly enough, after the fourth fight, there's a to-be-continued screen, and it looks like uh, there's gonna be more bosses added to this, uh, to this mode in a future patch. So, there's that to look forward to. Or not. Oh boy. But okay, that pretty much uh, covers all the, uh, main game stuff. And then we also have this, the comic. I'm not gonna show the images here, but you can read all these uh, four coma style comics that chronicle uh, Arena's uh, Arena's journey from when she gets turned into a humanoid all the way up to when she uh, reunites with Rumi. I think it's pretty silly and and pretty over the top. So if you like that sort of thing, I definitely recommend checking it out. They're they're also on the Sakai Project's uh, artwork page if you don't want to look at them in the game, but, but why would why would you want to? I mean, you 
you bought the game, you might as well make use of this feature, otherwise it's just kind of sitting there decaying. <laughs> so far, there's only 12 comics, but I'm sure more of them will be added in the future, because, because hey, you want to cover the entire game, don't you? I would not mind seeing a, uh, seeing a comic involving, uh, involving the two Kitty Sisters. That'd be kind of cool. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the main game. And here we have Rabbit Box, which, uh, shows off all the CGs you collected, including the... Oh, yeah, there we go. The Game Over screen. <laughs> Why does that amuse me so much? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much me after I got my butt handed to me by SP Cotton. Wait, Cotton Coco. Excuse me. Cotton's from Brave Frontier, not, uh, Rappy Ribby. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, there's also a sound test where you can listen to the different, uh, sound effects, and there are different... And you can adjust the speed here. So that's there. But what's more important here, and the highlight of the video I was gonna do, is the art book. Which, it turns out, is its own little executable program. And it even has its own music! <laughs> also, uh... This is paid DLC. You can get it by either purchasing the uh, the uh, digital special edition of Rabbi Ribby, or you can buy it as its own standalone thing if you already have the have the game itself. Because of that, um, let's take a look at the yeah. Here's the here's the uh, you can click on start. This will take you to the art book itself. It's pretty long. It's over 110 pages. But I'm not gonna show that here. I don't want to get in trouble with the develop with the developers showing off what is basically paid for content. So if you want it, go pick it up on Steam. It's only a few bucks, and it's and it's pretty interesting stuff. The portraits viewer I think will be fine with because this just shows off all the characters, uh, characters' portraits, and I guess you can modify them a little bit. Anyways, um, but what I wanted to, really wanted to show here was the beta content. It turns out there was quite a bit of a cut content from the game, including some unused characters. So, uh, let's take a look at some of these. Particularly this unused event. This is getting interesting. Um, that cray, cray spirit uh, trademark is overlapping that con that text a little bit. Oops! <laughs> Oh well. Anyways, uh, let's check this out first. Hmm. Um. Oh, was I supposed to be fighting these guys? Hmm, maybe this is supposed to be some kind of a unwinnable boss fight? Well, I can't use my magic, apparently. And all my attacks just do one damage, so... This might have something to do with those uh, illusions from earlier in the game. But yeah, it's... It looks like it's scripted to end after a certain amount of time. Oh. Okay, and that's... I assume that just uh, takes you back into the uh, normal opening of the game. Okay, then. Okay, what's next? Unused boss, Golem. Let's take a look at it. It's a giant cat. Oh. Yeah, we all know this. Oh. Okay, so yeah, this is meant to be some kind of a mini-boss. That hurt. Okay, I can still use this. Okay, lay 
lasers. Lots of lasers and a fist. Kind of irritating, that. I wonder what part of the game this was supposed to take place in. Lasers from two different angles. Oof. Yeah, I'm not doing too well in this fight. Not only that, it's on normal difficulty, so I can't use my standard tactics here. What do I even have for items? Oh, I don't even have any of my badges. Oof. Yeah, this isn't going too well, but... But it is nice to see where this, uh, content comes from, at the very least. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm gonna die soon. <laughs> top of the... Oops! Okay, yeah. That's unfortunate, but... At least we got to see a... See the, the boss. Oh dear, it take, took me out of the art book, didn't it? Oh well. Um, let's go back into the art book. And, uh, let's check out these, uh, unused modes. Mission 3? What's this all about? Oh, it's a... It's a fight against two co-trees? Oh, dear. And... Apparently that's instant death! Oh, dear. What the heck? Let's try that again. I, I wanna... Okay, one more try. What, is this supposed to be some kind of endurance test? Oh. Welp. I have no idea what that's going on, but it seems like some kind of endurance test or a one of those uh, no hip boss challenges. Very strange. Well, at least this one was kind enough to take us back to the art book screen, so uh, let's check out mission four. Oh. Oh, ah! Yikes. Okay, yeah, I think this is all just, a uh, dual boss, no damage challenges. So let's see what Mission 6 is all about. Two Cocos? And a Ribbon? Okay, it's not entirely instant death, but holy cow. Oh. Okay, then? Right. No thanks. Let's... Let's keep going. Oh, 
Mission 8. Um. Oh! <laughs> I did not apparently get that achievement yet. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's try this again. I, I want to know what the heck's going on here. What? What am I supposed to do here? Okay, apparently I can't attack the enemies? I supposed to do here? I think I'm supposed to kill the the normal rabbits without the without hurting the others. Oh, let's see. Yay! Okay, there we go. That's how you do it. Okay, yeah, kill the rabbits without without uh, hurting your friends. Okay, it doesn't seem there's achievements attached to these either, so... No big deal there. Okay, what's mission 10? Um... What the heck just happened? Did I switch bodies? Okay, I want to try that again. This is very strange. Oh, ow. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to be able to do this right now. This is definitely one of those uh, advanced kinds of challenges. Which I don't mind, but seriously, holy cow. I can see why these were cut from the game. And, um, what, which one did I leave up on? Oh yeah, I just did this one. Excuse me. Okay. Okay, there we go. Fought the game froze. Okay, let's try Mission 11. Oh, two Ritas. That's a lot of bullets. That's a mighty lot of bullets. Yeah. No, thank you. If anyone can help me figure out how to beat these challenges, I'd, I'd be interested, but I think that requires a lot more uh, button mashing and dexterity than I can muster at the moment. Anyways, uh, unused boss rush. What's this all about? Oh! Oh my goodness! I'm playing as a playing as a bunny cultist. Um, I can't attack? I can only... I can only move? I see, this is kind of like the uh, pacifist uh, challenge. Interesting. Oh, I got poked. Oof, that stinks. But I have a lot of amulet charges, apparently. Oof. This is 
a very strange challenge, but I kind of like it. I would have preferred it if I, if my uh, girl had a, was one of the uh, oh, water gun shooting types. I can't slide either, I just, I just have to do this the old-fashioned way. Okay. Okay, there's that. Oof. Yeah, definitely a step up when you're stuck on normal difficulty and act. Everyone moves like a complete and utter spaz. I'm not entirely sure why, why I'm giving so many uh, funny ambulance charges. Am I supposed to spam them? This is certainly a very unusual boss rush. Why, why is a, why is a bunny girl even picking a fight with uh, someone who's a non-bunny anyways? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, that's the end of that. Okay. Yikes. Okay, I get it. Everyone's under a speed-up boost in this mode. But their bullets aren't really all that fast. That being said, my bunny amulets do colossal amounts of damage. It's interesting. And she fires a lot more bullets, too. Oh, dear. Jerk. Oof. And I have... Yeah, that's never a good combination.
Well, she's gonna die in about two seconds anyway, so... Ah! Terrible time reading your attacks. Not to mention they're incredibly painful on this difficulty. Oh, pfft. Yeah, hit me just as I was about to change. Direction! slaughtered in this fight, aren't I? Oh, well, she's knocked out, so... And now for Kitty Cats! I cannot jump over, jump high enough. To, I cannot jump high enough to get through that first portion of the fight. That's irritating. Yeah, I get it. It's untested and all, but still, that is really cheap. Interesting mechanic, though. Kind of a schmuppy sort of thing where all your resources are just bombs. I can't quite remember if there was ever a game that did that sort of thing. And oh. <laughs> I've demonstrated what our little bunny cultist Fred can do. So let's, uh, keep looking for the contents. Um, versus Irisu Extra? That sounds scary. Okay, then. Don't know how I'm supposed to do that. I think you're supposed to use a... And I somehow avoid that. Okay, then.
Oh. Oh, I get it now. This is another survival battle. Oy. That's, that's irritating. Now I'm back to the title screen. Okay. Alright, um... Alright, let's take a look at the unused characters. We've already seen Rita, but let's see what she can do. Maybe she has some extra attacks. Okay. Confirmed, you can still use your fairy attacks. Um, okay, she has some kind of a fan attack. And her attacks hurt quite a bit. Yeah, this is kind of what I wanted to see in the main game. A kind of an alternate mode where you can play as different characters. Kind of like a... Kind of like in the original uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. How did that even work story-wise, anyways? Maybe Arena got captured and one of the other characters has to rescue her? At least that's how I... How Symphony of the Night did it. In any case, let's take a look at the character I really wanted to play as, Sassini. Oh my goodness, that's... That's a little overpowered! <laughs> I can see why she wasn't really included in the main game. <laughs> as a playable character. Oh, but you, you... You can't move while she's shooting? That is so weird! I was thinking this would be a kind of a run-and-gun sort of dealie, but no! <laughs> Egad! <laughs> well, alright then. I know how Sassini works now, more or less. That is definitely an odd way of playing. Take away the inability to move while shooting and you basically have a... You basically have a... Have a run and gun sort of Metroidvania. Instead of a melee based one. Which I would like to see. In any case, let's take a look at what Sayaro can do. And she fires a frickin' laser! <laughs> okay. I was expecting her to fi fire homing missiles instead, but no, this is this is just as good. Though the laser has some nasty recoil on it. <laughs> that is so silly! <laughs> I assume it's gonna be a pretty hard hard time against airborne bosses, though, but hey, that is, that is pretty amusing, I have to say. You know, but I really would have liked it if she had her homing missiles. Maybe she can have them as d different equipable weapons? Maybe, maybe that could be the classic style Metroid-esque game. Have the homing missiles as ammunition, and have your laser or pea shooter as your main one. That'd be kind of neat. Okay, now we're getting into the uh, difficulty levels, which I think are accessible in the game, but I don't know. Let's take a look at Unknown. I had no idea what to expect from this, aside from pain. Oh. Huh. Okay, then. Typical cutscene. Alright. Unknown difficulty. for now. Grab the P 
Pico Hammer. Okay, enemies are pretty, pretty handily. Nothing out of the ordinary there. Well, the enemies do seem to move a little faster in this mode, and ow, that, that hurts quite a bit. Ooh. Yeah, these guys are a little bit faster, and that's worrisome. And I am at critical health. Lovely. Oh, and I actually have access to a save point in this mode. Okay. Um... <coughs> Let's just use this save file. This is my, uh, kind of a play-around save file anyway, so... Ugh. Almost felt like coughing there. <coughs> well, there it goes. Mm, yeah, enemies are faster and more durable and more painful in this mode. Hammer level increased. Yeah, this, this big one was pretty durable, all things considered. Uh, oh! That was a one-shot! That was basically a one-shot. Okay, I, I want to see what Coco can do on this difficulty. I want to see what she, she can come up with. For now, I think I'll try and avoid those larger bunnies. <laughs> okay, good. Wait. Oh, there we go. Anyways, uh... Okay, tw level 26, that's... That's a, that's a dangerous sign. Oh, ow! That was, that was a lot of health. Can't really do much against her at the moment. Oh no, now she's deploying the drones. And they do not stop! Yeah, that that ba that battle wasn't going to go very well, but it just goes to show how a simple change can make a boss fight oh so more difficult. Oh dang it, I forgot to take you back to the regular title screen. Oh well, we're almost done here, folks. Oh, whoops. The analog stick's a wee bit sensitive. Okay. Alright, let's try out this, uh, <laughs> impossible difficulty. Okay, same starting health. Let's see what a regular enemy does to me. Um, if it can... I can... 
Ow. Okay, yeah, that is incredibly powerful. <laughs> Man, this these modes don't even give you a chance. It's kind of nuts. But in any case, I think that's about it. I think that's about it for now when it comes to uh, Rabby Ribby, and uh, I thank you very much for watching this LP. This is this has been my first YouTube LP, and I learned quite a bit doing it. One of the most important things is don't leave your LP hanging for like months at a time. People are expecting updates, and if you don't update, they'll they will lose interest. I apologize for that, and I will try that not to do that again in the future. Another thing I need to learn how to do is use some uh, video editing software so I can make some of these uh, videos a little more pleasing to look at and such. And uh, so I don't have to keep having such uh, such long parts between them. I could just make some smaller parts and then just cut them into one larger video, I guess. But in any case, yeah, that's uh, that's it for Rabby Ribby for now. If uh, if they ever release the update for 2.0, then I will definitely be all over it. So, for now, thank you for watching, and I will see you when whenever the next video is. I think my next project might be a, a Toho Mon game, or one of the Toho games, I'm not sure. It's probably going to be Toho related, because, let's face it, this game is basically a Toho game mixed with a Metroidvania kind of game. But if you don't know what Toho is for whatever reason, then maybe I'll then I'll be able to explain it for you. So uh Yeah, be on the lookout for that. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Until then, have a good evening.